Siri. Yes? What time is it? What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownloadBlog. Going to show you how to do just that, how to install Siri on your iPad 2. Now you will need to follow our Aspire installation tutorial for the iPhone 4. You will need an iPhone 4S. Just read our entire Aspire tutorial on iDownloadBlog. This will give you a good start. Uh, to setting up Siri on your iPad too because we're going to use the Siri proxy server we're going to use Spire in order to get this working on our iPad too now just keep in mind do this at your own risk this is obviously a hack it wasn't meant for the iPad too so just do this at your own risk in other words now that that's out of the way you want to open up Cydia on your jailbroken iPad 2 and install Spire now the only problem with this is that Spire does not work on the iPad 2 so we kind of had to massage things a little bit to get it working with our iPad. So I'm going to show you how to do that first and foremost. You're going to need to know how to do this. So let's go back out to our home screen. You want to open up iFile. Of course, you'll need iFile to do this. Um, you want to go to this particular directory. It's System Library Core Services Springboard.app. And then find the plist file that starts with the K. You want to tap on that and open it with the property list viewer. And then you should see Capabilities. Tap on Capabilities. And then you should see iPad in this list here. Let's find iPad. There it is. So you want to locate iPad and then you'll see on the right hand side of iPad you'll see an own switch. You want to turn that own switch off. So just switch it off like that. Tap done. And now you want to power off your iPad 2 and power it back on. So just power it off like this and then power it back on. Now we're back up. Now we want to open up Cydia again. There's Cydia. And then once we open up Cydia you want to install Spire now. It should allow you to install it. So tap install in the upper right hand corner and then select confirm. You'll see it right there. So tap confirm, you'll see it downloading. Now this will take quite a while, so just hold your horses. Once it's complete, tap reboot, reboot, now we're back up. And now we wanna open up iFile again. We wanna get right back to the same directory we were in initially and switch that switch back on. So we're just gonna go into system, library, core services, springboard.app, Find the k.plist file, not the backup file, but the original. Select property list viewer, and then go back in here like we did it first, and then switch that switch for iPad back on. So let's scroll down there. There's iPad, switch it back on, and then go ahead and tap done and get back to your springboard. Now go to settings in general and see if the Siri panel is there just to make sure that Spire installed successfully, which it did here, so we can go back to our home screen. We'll come back to that later. Now we want to open up Dropbox. We want to install this certificate that was created in the initial Spire tutorial and the initial Siri proxy tutorial. If you haven't seen that, make sure you watch that as I referenced earlier. Now you want to just copy that link to the clipboard, paste that link into Safari, and that will help you install the certificate for Siri proxy. And if you watched the previous tutorials on Spire and Siri Proxy, then this will be really familiar to you. Hopefully you still have your Siri Proxy server running. Okay, so now let's open up iFile. And this time we want to go all the way back to our root directory. And then you want to find the Etsy folder. So there it is, ETC. Open that up. And then you want to find the host file. Open the host file up with the text viewer. So select text viewer right here. All right and then tap on edit in the upper left hand corner. Then we want to type the following in there. You want to type in 127.0.0.1 space gazoni.apple.com and then tap on done or save and that's that. Now we want to go back to our home screen. We want to open up the settings app again. So there's settings. Once settings is open, you see Siri proxy there, but you want to go ahead and turn Siri on under general. Make sure it looks like this. Siri is now on. Now we want to scroll down a little bit till you see Spire under extension. So tap on Spire. Now we want to type in https colon slash slash gazoni.apple.com. All right, make sure you don't forget the S in the HTTP. Okay. All right, now let's open up iFile again. And we want to go to the following directory, var mobile library preferences. Once you're there, you should see this com.appleassistant.plist. You want to open that up with the property list viewer. And then you're going to see something like this. You're going to see accounts. And then you're going to see dictionary on the right-hand side. So go ahead and just tap on dictionary. All right. And then you should see a hexadecimal value to the left side. I won't show that. But you want to tap on dictionary there. Then you should see these two values. Of course, the date will be different. But you should see the gazoni.apple.com in there. You should see done above. And then you should see a plus sign in the bottom right-hand corner. You want to tap on that plus sign. And we're going to enter 
three different values here. So the first value we're going to enter in, you just put it right there where it says name. Now you want to type it exactly like I'm typing it in here. All right, the first thing you want to put in is ACE host, capital A, lowercase c, e, space, capital H, lowercase o, s, t. And once we have that in there, just tap on create and then hit the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner. We want to type in a new one. This one is assistant identifier. So type that in, assistant identifier. Go ahead and tap create, add a new one. You want to type this one in. It is speech identifier. So type in speech identifier just like that. And then once you add that, you should see these five here, ace host, assistant identifier, host name, speech identifier, and validation expiration. We're good. Now we can go back to the settings panel, and then we're going to go to our Wi-Fi connection. Now find your con current Wi-Fi connection, hit the little arrow on the right-hand side, and then focus on DNS. You want to change the DNS to the IP address of your Siri proxy server running on Ubuntu. So make sure you type that in. In my case, it is 10.0.1.12. So just verify that. If you need more information, check out our previous Siri proxy tutorials. All right, let's test it. Test Siri proxy. Siri proxy is up and running. Yes. Launch Cydia. Launching Cydia. So folks, that is how you set up Siri on the iPad 2. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.